So if you are under digital surveillance, it means that everything you do, whether it is chatting with your family or browsing a website on internet, is recorded and monitored by someone. First, it's a human rights violation. It's completely against your freedom, but also it can be very dangerous for human rights defenders doing some often very hard work to defend and increase human rights in their country. And this is putting them even more at risk of uh, having uh, authorities knowing what they do and monitoring everything they do. When someone is doing a campaign of digital surveillance, you have to use some kind of viruses, some kind of servers, and all this lets digital traces online. So what we do is trying to map all these digital evidences, map the viruses used, the servers, the domains, and create a map of uh, all this to try to understand who could be behind. So when we find that an attack was done using tools such as FinSpy uh, by FinFisher or Pegasus by NSO Group, we know that these companies only sell their surveillance software to government authorities. So we know that the attacks can only come from a government authority, whether it's the police or intelligence services or any other entity that could have access to these tools. Mostly we um, contact the human rights defenders and work with them to make sure that they are not compromised, help them restore the devices if they are, and improve their digital security knowledge and protection. And at the same time, we work on reporting that and publishing on that to find ways to prevent this from happening again. Okay.